Hello, welcome to Pathways of Hope. My name is Jake Tan and this is today's reflection. I want to look at among the set of passages that we have with the gospel for today. This is taken from Matthew chapter 1 and it's actually focused on Matthew's account of the birth of Jesus Christ. And for this set of verses, we really have Joseph as the focus. And I think it's often something overlooked that Joseph actually has the short end of the stick in this whole scenario. What do I mean by that? Well, he's getting married or he's married already to Mary. Yet, he figures out or he realizes that uh, Mary is still or is already apparently pregnant. He already, she's already conceived the child. And, you know, if you were the guy, how would you feel? Like, you haven't done anything yet. And yet, Mary has a child in her womb. And you're like, I don't know, maybe in this usual pattern of life, it's anger, frustration, disappointment, questions, un- just wondering about where this unfaithfulness, this honesty is coming from. But in the gospel, Joseph is described as a just man. He's described as someone just, righteous. And it's really manifested in the way that he wanted to just put closure to all this. He said, okay, I will just separate from Mary quietly. And that's according to the law, okay? Joseph has the right to do that. In fact, if we were going to bring the law all the way, Mary is supposed to be embarrassed in public and she's supposed to be stoned. Yet, Joseph wants to take this approach that's most merciful. And I think the Lord recognized that. In fact, he wanted to just show him that he's coming from a good place, but there's more happening here than just what we know in the law. And what he knows at that time, and that's really just the grace of the Holy Spirit, the grace of God through the Holy Spirit, being poured out on Mary, and now Joseph's opportunity to play his role in that. And, you know, even at that point, he had the decision, most likely. It could have been, you know, if he wasn't that God-fearing, that dream happens where the angel speaks to him. And if he didn't know his scripture, the angel quotes from Isaiah, you know, he would have said, ah, oh, that was nothing. I, 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 I want to still follow the law. I still want to uh, quietly separate from Mary, etc., etc. But no, he abides by that. He obeys. And I think for that point of reflection, we can emulate Joseph's heroism, his sacrifice, where, okay, he might have not had that normal encounter with a wife and have a child the usual way, but he still plays this righteous father for their family to really fulfill the prophecies where Jesus would be born of the line of David that comes from Joseph's side, but also how the virgin will give birth to a, to a son, that's Mary. Just read the whole beautiful dynamic of scripture being fulfilled in this couple. I think a point for reflection again is how the scriptures is not just limited to characters in the Bible such as Mary, Joseph, uh, all these in the Old Testament, the New Testament. But it can be alive in your life and in my life. And that really has something to do with if we're listening to the Lord, if we're obeying to Him. And that can be revealed to us in the sacraments, in prayer through another person. So let's be like Joseph, where we can choose the merciful way in spite of chaos, in spite of difficulty in times of, of trial, of really serious hardship. But look at where, how we can approach things in mercy, not in frustration, not in disappointment, but really in love. Especially how this season of Advent, this fourth Sunday of Advent, focuses on love. And... Let's allow the scripture to be alive in our lives through obedience to Christ. So God bless you. And feel free to share this meditation. You can like, you can follow Pathways of Hope. And more to come. God bless your season of Advent.